In this video, we're going to talk about how to use the built-in equation editor that you'll find in your Lira classroom. First, you need to know how to find it, and then we'll give you a few examples of how it can be used. It's a really powerful tool for communicating uh, mathematics in your online classroom. So the first thing you'll do is, uh, usually you'll find an opportunity or a need to do this uh, in the discussions or content area. So I've gone into a discussion, week one, and I want to post a solution or I want to post something mathematical. So I'll just say here, equation editor, I'm giving it a title. And then to find the equation editor, you're looking for what's called the sigma signal. Uh, and then if you roll over, you'll see it says graphical equation. So you're basically going to click on that. And so you have, uh, you may be familiar with math type or the word. Microsoft Word Equation Editor. If you are, this is going to be somewhat similar, maybe not quite as many uh, choices. But let's put in a very basic um, equation, y equals mx plus b. Nothing incredibly um, interesting. You could have done this with plain text, but I'm just showing you this can be used to put in an equation. Now, you're going to notice you can't see the equation you just put in, but that is a product of Leo. It's, it's nothing happened that's wrong. It's just that's what uh, what it looks like until you post it. So we could post it. We could add a little bit of text to it. If you don't like it, we can always highlight it and delete it. So let's put in um, the equation of a line in slope intercept form is. And then we'll go back to the equation editor. And we're going to click there and say y equals mx plus b. Insert. And so there you go. Now, if for some reason this icon showed up at the beginning of the sentence, that can happen sometimes. You can just drag it and move it wherever you want it. Um, but let's leave it there at the end. And now, if I post it, there it is. It's centered and it's justified. Now I can go in and edit if I want. And let's say I want to add to it. Let's go in here. Um, let's say the general form of a quadratic. Let's do it this way. How about we say the general solution to a quadratic equation of the form. Uh, now we're going to go into the equation editor and we're going to use a little bit of uh, exponents now. Ax, and there's the exponent. You see it jumped it up. And then you use the right arrow on your keyboard to jump out of the exponent now bx plus c equals 0. Is the formula of the quadratic formula. I'm just trying to give examples of how you could include this. Now this quadratic formula will be nice as an illustration. Um, and if you don't know the quadratic formula, don't be too scared. What I'm really trying to do is just show you how you can use the equation editor to do lots of different uh, math expressions. So here's your fraction expression. And if you don't know the, the quadratic formula, that's OK. I'm just going through the negative sign you use from the keyboard, the letter B. And then I want to do plus minus. And then I want to do a square root. And now everything that I put under the square root will stay under the square root. I use the arrow key to jump out of the exponent. Minus 4ac. Now if I want to get out from underneath the square root, I can use the right arrow. And if I started typing, I'd be outside the square root. If I want to go back under it, I use the left arrow and jump back under it. But I'm finished for the square root, and it's all over 2 times a. I insert that, and there's going to be our quadratic formula. And so you can see these nice formulas are jumping in to our uh, communication. And now let's say I want to insert an image that includes a nice graph or graphic. 
you have to have already created your graph and saved it as a as an image so it's either going to be a JPEG or a PNG or a bitmap uh, you're going to go to insert image and you have to upload it and let's say I have a preset image then I'm going to add it I need to give it a name let's just call it a graph image you can name it anything you want, it does not matter. And there it is. It's been uploaded directly into it. You can add text around it if you want. This is an example of a graph image in the in the uh, uh, So again, uh, the insert image feature is right here. Uh, what's really nice, for example, if you have an iPhone or a Droid, and you want to upload an image or a graph and, and you're not technologically savvy but you have a mobile phone you can take a picture of the mobile of your of your test or your question or your graph you can take a picture of it and you can upload that picture as an image uh, onto your computer and then you can insert the image that you took from the picture of your phone so you can actually upload hand uh, handwritten photos of handwritten work. As long as the photos are clear and easy to read, sometimes the, the lighting can be tricky and difficult. But uh, most instructors will accept that as well. I certainly do. So this is just a quick overview of how you can use the equation editor. It's the sigma here, or you can use the insert image uh, to post some really nice, interesting uh, math formulas, etc. I hope this was helpful, and I'll post some more examples down the road.